What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm coming at you from Texas. Yeah, the beautiful state of Texas. So long story short as to why I'm in Texas is um, my wife's grandma lives here in Texas and she is coming to live back in Virginia where the rest of the family lives. She's out here by herself and so uh, the last two days me and the family packed up the car and we road tripped it all the way to Texas. It was like 1800 miles. It took right around 26 hours to get here. It wasn't exactly a fun car ride, but you definitely got to see some cool things, you know, traveling all through the different states to get here. One of the coolest things that I think that I saw in Texas is all of the oil well pumps. They are literally everywhere. Um, you're like on a straight road for like hours upon hours upon hours, mile after mile, and all you see is these oil pumps. They are everywhere. As a matter of fact, I'm actually at Grandma's house right now, and hold on, I'm about to flip the camera around so I can show you, but literally out of her backyard is these oil pumps. Hold on, let me spin the camera around and see if you can see. There's, I'm zooming in, there's one going right now, right outside the fence. Let's see. There's another one over here, right there. Let's see if I can get it in focus. There's another one, as you see it's pumping. Pretty crazy. The other thing you see a ton of out here is windmills. Uh, back home in Virginia, we don't have any windmills. Um, you know, occasionally when I go down to North Carolina, you know, you see them down there. Um, but Texas is full of them. It's Again, mile after mile, along with the oil pumps, you see all these windmills. Um, I guess that's how they get their majority of their energy out here. It's pretty cool, but um, it's literally like a windmill farm. All right, uh, here's another angle. I'm literally standing in her backyard right now, and over my shoulder, I think you can see, yeah, right back there. Yeah, right there. You can see another oil pump. Hold on, let me turn the camera around and I'll zoom in and show you zoom 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 yeah so that's like in your backyard here in Texas it's crazy I don't know I guess it's just I'm not used to seeing it but nonetheless it's pretty cool as you can see I'm repping my enthusiast hat again I am an affiliate for enthusiast so click the link down below in the description and head over there and get you one of these hats they're really nice hats they're comfortable and they look awesome I mean they're sweet. So when we found out we were going to Texas, we planned to rent a Suburban uh, for a rental car to drive to here to pick everything up because you know, Suburban, lots of room, fit all of grandma's belongings and whatnot, plenty of room for the family to ride. Um, everything was great. We went to pick the rental car up the day before we left for the trip and somehow they got it confused and had a Tahoe for us and the Tahoe just wasn't gonna cut it. So we decided, uh, we're just gonna have to pick something else to drive so lo and behold what did we take yep the forerunner uh as you can see we have a u-haul trailer hooked up to it we just picked the u-haul trailer up from uh the ace hardware right up the street here in town we're gonna rent it and then carry all the belongings back home in there and turn it in there of course in virginia you know by having the u-haul trailer that'll leave plenty of room inside of the forerunner to move about you know be comfortable and put all the belongings in there so yeah we did just put 1800 miles on the forerunner and we're gonna put another 1800 miles on it going home but i mean that's what it's for right this thing is gonna definitely need a bath when we get home there's so many bugs on the windshield and all over the front of it We've gotta get all that off Definitely gonna have to get in a good bath when we get home. So overall, the 4Runner definitely outperformed my expectations. Um, again, we were in it for over 24 hours driving here, and I thought, you know, over time might get uncomfortable. But overall, you know, I really didn't ever get uncomfortable. It was a really comfortable ride, which really surprised me. You know, most cars after a couple hours, whatever, you get really uncomfortable. The seats just aren't comfortable anymore. But the 4Runner, it was a nice ride. Um, again, it wasn't too bad coming here without the trailer. I'm going to give another update once we get back home to Virginia and let you know how it performed pulling a trailer because, again, 
it's never pulled a trailer before so kind of curious as how that's gonna go so i have to keep you updated on that one guys i gotta say the food here in texas is unreal we ate at this barbecue place called dickie's and the brisket they had there man it was delicious let me just tell you again guys make sure you click that link down below in the description and head over and get you some enthusiast apparel as you can see it's sweet um if you're new to the channel or if you have not already please click that subscribe button uh as always give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below uh let me know something cool in texas to do while we're here i, I really don't know what's here to do um it's the first time being here probably my last time probably never come back here but Nonetheless, drop a comment on something cool to see while you're here. As always, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, like I said, I will give an update video on how the Forerunner pulled the trailer once we get back home in Virginia. Um, I'm very curious to see how it performs, so stay tuned for that video.